Financial decisions affecting the country's pensioners have been much discussed this week, with Parliament voting on Tuesday to restrict winter fuel payments to only the poorest pensioners rather than all of them, as has been the case since 1997. Amid some anger at that decision, the same day it emerged that the new full state pension paid to those who reached pensionable age after April 2016 was expected to rise by £460 a year from next April. That was covered by BBC Television television like this and in an online article headlined like this. But that wasn't the whole story as a number of viewers pointed out. One of them was James Bradley and he joins me now. Uh, James, thanks for coming on Newswatch. We've just seen the headlines saying that state pensions set to rise by £460 next year. Why did you contact us about this? Um, it's frustrating listening to this from both the BBC and to the politicians, where they keep saying that pensions will rise by 460 next April. But that is for the new state pension. It doesn't cover the people born before 1951 and 1953. But the rise for the basic state pension is only going to be £350. So just to be clear, as you've, you've been saying, three quarters of current um, pensioners won't get that full headline amount that the BBC headline. They get rather £100 less and then there's all these other issues. Um, what's your concern about the, the fact that the BBC gave that headline with the higher figure? Well, pensioners are thinking, ah, oh, we're going to get £460. We're going to be better off. That is not the actual case. You know, it's every time they come out with uh, headlines like, oh, you're going to be OK listen, you're not going to be affected by the £300 fuel benefits that's being taken from you. This is not correct. And I think it's about time that BBC and the politicians should actually tell the truth. James, why does this concern you? Do you think it gives a perception that all pensioners are, are rich? Oh, yes. This is the whole idea. Yes, there are pensioners who literally have got plenty of money, there's no, you know, I can't deny that. But there's a lot of people, if you go back pre-1951, a lot of them pensioners aren't going to have any increase apart from the 350. Right. So and that's you, not going to come through to April. Yeah. Do you think the BBC's been insufficiently challenging, then, of the government's claims for these numbers? Yes, they are. They should actually be looking into it in depth. If, if the government's going to say something, the BBC are the only ones we've got that can actually do anything at the moment and say to the government, hold them to this and say, excuse me, are what you're saying is correct? The BBC has pointed out to us that in some of their news alerts, you know, that you get to your phone and in some of their news articles, they have flagged up that that headline figure, the 460, was about newer pensions and that it's hard to get all the nuance across in a short headline. Does that satisfy you? No, I haven't seen that. If you want the honest answer, I have not seen anybody say this is a new state pension. I'm interested, what is the basic state pension? Yes, the new state pension. I don't qualify. I was born in 1950, so yes, I miss out. And a lot of people don't realise that. A lot of pensioners, you know, these are old people and everything else. They see these headlines, oh, I'm going to get 460. No, you're not. Yeah. Nobody's actually spelling out the differences in both this new state and the basic. What if the headline had said up to £460 a year? Would that have solved Everything. That would have been better, yes. It would stop people saying, oh, this is great, you know, you're going to get 460 up to 460. Yeah, it implies, therefore, not everybody's going to get it. James Bradley, thank you so much. Thank you. Well, as mentioned, we asked BBC News for a response to the points James was making there. Here is the statement they gave us. Pensions in general, including the old and new state pension and the additional state pension, are complex by their nature and those nuances can never be fully explained in a headline. In order to help audiences understand this information, we created a specific explainer article and made sure our reports were clear on the differences between the new and old schemes.